Hey, it's me, OG Duffy, and I've been sent an electric bike from this company here, DYU. I'm gonna get this unboxed, I'm gonna get this out, and I'm gonna get riding it. I've never rode an electric push bike. In fact, I haven't rode a push bike in 10 plus years, at least. One thing's for sure, this is gonna be fun. But you know what? I'm gonna need a hand off of Mrs. OG to help me build this up and let her have a go as well. Initial thoughts, guys. Um, it's pretty much, I'm guessing it's ready to go. I'm guessing I'll just obviously get rid of the packaging, make some adjustments, but even the tires are inflated. <laughs> so it literally comes out of the box like that. So I can see this isn't gonna take long at all. I thought we'd have to build it from like ground up, but all in all, so far, so good. Got this box here, this looks quite important. As you can see, let's pedal my functional wrench, charger instructions, and the warranty card. So quite an important part of the product here. It's a quickly unboxing of this. A sticker, a nice sticker, look, or a little warranty card. It's not a sticker, actually. That'll be the instructions. What else have we got in here? Oh, look at that. It's a proper little tool, look. It's like a Swiss army knife for bike making and repairs and removing tires and things like that. One would guess, hey, I'm not that mechanically minded when it comes to push bikes. Um, here are obviously the pedals. Um, I do believe these are foldable, but we'll come to all that real, real soon. That is the charger there. Now to charge this, plug it in the basic mains. And that there, this looks like a rear um, light. Yes, it is. So that obviously straps on in some way. So let's get them all the important instructions opened up. This is the instruction book here. As you can see, it's very brief, very um, minor. There's not a lot to it. So all in all, I'm just gonna follow these instructions here, these steps, and we'll have this thing up in ready in no time, me hopes. All packaging now undone. Um, with this section, it says to lift the handlebars. So you lift that up like that. Okay, we'll go over all these features again soon. And you press that, and then our locked into position. We're installing the, the seat now, very simple. It's just this clip here, just undo that. And there it is. Adjust it to your height, and press the clip button. So we'll have it quite high. There we go. There you have it. Attaching the pedals now, it's where the handy spanner's gonna come into play. Um, make sure you get it going the right direction. And then I'll repeat the process on the other side. And then I think we're ready to go, people. The easy to use handlebars, okay? You've got a brake there. Again, a disc brake and another brake that side, okay? Only two buttons on this. One button here, one button there. This one, you press once. And as you can see there, I hope it shows up in the light. Little LEDs and it tells you high and low for the battery. As you can see, I'm still on a high charge here. I've still got near a full battery, okay? There's a sweet little bell here, look. <laughs> little reflector there, light on the front and a rear light also. And this is you twist and it starts pulling as it does there. So, so easy to operate. Off on our first cycling test of this. So we're gonna collapse it down, get it into the boot. Obviously gonna kick flip that. Now with the pedals, very simple. You pull this level here, and then they click inwards. Very simple to do, just like that. Um, there we go, handlebars are going down. Tuck them out of the way. And of course, the seat comes off completely, or I can just drop it down like that, and then lock it back into place. Um, obviously you've got the handle as well to help maneuvering it. So let's see if it fits into the boot. So it's in the boot, as you can see. Fitted all right, actually, but what I did in the end, I removed that, it's a lot easier. Because I think if I'd kept that in, maybe it would have caught on the parcel shelf there. So, sit the road, see how this thing performs. The DYU 3DF. This boasts quite a decent battery on it. It boasts quite a few things. We're gonna get on it, take it for a spin, and see exactly what this thing can do. But as with all things first, 
safety first people oh yes indeed now a confession i have not rode a push bike in at least 10 plus years and i've never rode an e-bike so this is going to be as much fun for me <laughs> as it is for you but even better i'm then going to get mrs og on this thing excuse the crash at but needs must let's go right so we're off the back give it a nice spin See how we get on, eh? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna twist the pedal and I'm gonna just push off on the pedals while twisting the handle and we'll see how we go. Oh, we're going. <laughs> right, okay. Um, I'm putting little to no effort in and I'm not pedaling at all now. But as you can hear, I'm going along. If you're gonna check my brakes are working you're fine, which they are, which is good. Bit of a bump there. I'm gonna go around the corner here and back down towards Mrs. OG filming. I have to say, right, so far so good. This is um <laughs> this is good fun. I'm not pedaling at all as you can see. Look, little to no effort. I've just got the handle twisted back. I've taken my, my hand off because I'm coming around the corner, safety and all that. And as you can see, onwards we go. I'm not pedaling at all, I'm just letting the uh, electric bike do everything for me. I'm nipping along at a nice little pace, not ridiculously fast, but not slow either, if that makes sense. So all in all, I'm very impressed. Right, I'm I've released the um, throttle there, and I'm just braking, as you can hear on the disc brakes. Going to take this round the corner and accelerate out the corner. Just a little bit there, as you can see. And now we're going to go down towards Mrs. OG. Here we go. I have to say, right, initial thoughts, I'm having, I'm enjoying this, this is good fun. I haven't cycled in years, and I'm nipping along with little to no effort at all. This is just great. Look at that. I'll tell you what, right, better break there, and in case the car's coming down. All in all, so far, so good. I'll tell you what, it's a good start, guys. I'm impressed, this is great fun. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. I've got the hang of it, just briefly there. I'm just gonna give it a few more loops, get the complete hang of it, and then I'm gonna give a little speed test. I'm keeping an eye on that motor down there. Anyway, here we go. And we're off. Like I say, it is minimal pull, it really is. I'm just having a, I'm just letting the, the, um, the bike is doing all the work. I'm literally, I mean, I'm not being rude, right? I'm not the healthiest man on the planet. <laughs> But this is a, a great way of getting around this, this stuff, you know what I mean? Just gonna loop it round again, the same loop. I've got my accelerator going there. Look, I'm not pedaling at all, I'm still, I'm still going there, look at that. That's good, it's good, it's good. I'm well happy. This is just, it rides itself. I'm not, I, you don't have to work this thing. Off the accelerator there, bit of braking in case that car around this here corner's deciding to make a manoeuvre. Nope, they're still parked up. And now I've got no acceleration going at all. I'm just gonna pedal and see what happens. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty sexy to be honest. I mean, I'm just pedaling and I, the electric motor is taking some of that pressure off. So I'm not even, it just makes the, the life so much easier. It's just so much easier. It really, really is. Anyway, that's my initial thoughts. Obviously we're gonna have a go at speed test and stuff as well, um, but I've got no way of registering it. But um, I have read on reviews online, other reviewers, they've got it anywhere between sort of 15 to 20 kilometers an hour, okay? I'm not as thin as them fellas, so obviously my weight will impact on that greatly. Initial thoughts, this thing's a dream. Obviously you're no longer allowed to have um, scooters on the road here in the UK or on pavements, but this is a bike. This does everything an electric scooter does. Still got full power on there. We've been having a bit of a whiz around. This is good fun. Mrs. OG, would you like another go? In OG Duffy Towers, where gamers unite. PS3 classics every night. With a brew in hand, we play away. Retro treasures here to stay. Do you know what time it is? It's beer o'clock. Oh, yes, because I'm worth it. OG Duffy Towers, gaming lore. Cheers to beers, gaming galore. Join the fun, unlock the high score. Okay, I think I've given this a fair run now. 
there's only one thing left to do. Oh yes, I'm gonna exert some energy. I'm gonna go up to the top there, get some speed up, and see if I can get a bit of speed on this thing, guys. Oh yes, indeed. Because it'll be rude <laughs> not to. Anyway, as you can see here, getting along nicely. Right, I'm not gonna overexert my legs. Let the bike do the work now, which it is. So I'm nipping along there. It's gotta be a good 10, 12 miles an hour at least. Do you know what I mean? So right, we're gonna try for a bit of speed now, a bit of pedal power. And here we go. Here we go. Come on, OG, push them pedals, baby. And there we go, I'm now letting the electric motor kick in and it's just doing its thing. I'll be at work in no time. And I'll tell you what, them disc brakes work all right too. So the DYU 3DF, what are my thoughts? So far, so good. What I've really liked about this is fun. I'm jumping on it and I'll be honest, I'm smiling. It's not exhausting me. I'm not absolutely cream cracker that I've got to go home now and, and put my feet up. This has a 1.250 motor on it. And I have to say, I'm quite impressed at that. It's, um, as you kick off there, pull the, uh, the, the sort of the throttle lever and it does, it pulls, it takes away. It just takes the real effort out of cycling. This is a 36 volt 10 AH battery. Now to me, that doesn't mean an awful lot, but I'll tell you something it does mean, up to 60 kilometers range on a full charge. That's quite impressive. So if you're doing a commute to work and back, that is more than capable. Um, the good thing with that is obviously the carrying, you can carry it onto your train, get to the other end, let the train take a strain. This is a real good commuter's bike, but not just that, it's a real good fun bike. I mean, would I use this to go to work? I actually would, um, especially the way the traffic's been in my town of late. I have to say, this is a fun little thing. I'm really impressed. So overall, the benefits far outweigh the negatives. What negatives? I'll be honest, I can't think of any. The only negative I read about this was they claimed that this seat and, and the whole bike wasn't too comfortable. I disagree with that. This seat is really spongy, got great big heavy springs in the back and I don't feel uncomfortable at all. I mean, I've had a bike, like I say, well over 10 years ago and mate, I knew about it when I got off that. This, not at all, this is comfortable. This is great for your everyday commute, honestly. I'm impressed. One week later. So I've lived with this for a week now. Verdict, it's a great little thing. It's really fun. The collapsing seat, the foldable handlebars just makes it so easy to use. The carry handle just makes it a cinch for carrying about and everything else. It's a great price and is an affordable and electric bike for the UK. Not just that, now scooters have been outlawed in the UK here. You can't use them on the roads or pavements. But this is a bike. This isn't an electric scooter, so this is legal. For me, I think this is the perfect solution for commuters, people who have caravans and just want like somewhere to nip local, or if you just want a little fun ride, then this is the thing to be had, mate. Honest, it is so, so much fun. So easy to operate. As you can see there on the handlebars, you press one button, power's on, You've got your little display there. It's so, so simple. Twist and go and break. There's a single gear on this, so you haven't got to worry about gear changes or anything like that. It's just get on it, pedal, twist, and honestly, it is that simple and go. Now, if you're interested in buying one of these, there's a link, product link in my, um, in my notes there. So do hit that, because it helps the channel greatly. I've been OG Duffy. This has been great fun. I love it.